Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. Uh, we're launching into one of my favourite cases probably in the series. Uh, it's Game 3 Episode 2, The Stolen Turnabout. Uh, we haven't started this one yet, so we're about to do it now. Uh, let's go! I seem to remember this segment being kind of long, so I don't know how long this video is going to be. Maybe longish. But you know, I make a lot of long videos, we're probably fine. <laughs> the time is 1 a.m. Beep. 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 Uh, beep. Screen flashing. Not, not a fan of that. I might put an epilepsy warning on that bit. Detective, we made it. Whew, what a relief. Glad the jewel is still safe. Ho ho, you said it, pal. It must have been our rock solid security that scared him off. Would you mind opening the safe just to double check? Been had. Uh, out front, guards, turn on the searchlights. <laughs> Better luck next time, gentlemen. <laughs> Excuse me, but I'm afraid I must be leaving now. We shall meet again when the next moon is full. <laughs> what a silly laugh. <laughs> October 11th, 3.24pm, Wright & Co. Law Offices. Hey Nick, get a load of this. Hey, are you listening to me? You can clean the toilet later, this is important! <sighs> what are you freaking out about now? Hehe. <laughs> Today will be the last time you talk to me that way. Huh? We're about to hit the big time. Big time? And what do you mean by we? You don't mean you and me, uh... Huh, don't be silly. I'm talking about me and... Pearly, of course. Hello, it's a pleasure to see you again, Mr. Nick. Pearls, you haven't changed a bit. Wait, what are you doing here anyway? Hehe, <laughs> haven't you heard, Mr. Nick? Here, take a look at this! What's this? Some kind of poster? Curain Village, isn't that... That's right, it's our hometown. Pearly and mine, that is. What's this about treasures from the boonies? Ha ha ha, very funny. You can laugh all you want but you'll be singing another tune tonight. Tonight? What about tonight? The Treasures of q -Rain exhibit doesn't actually start until next week, but the promoter sent us some special VIP entry passes. That's why I dressed up extra special today. What do you think, Nick? Huh. <laughs> Same mayor, different day. So, mayor? Maya? I, I haven't played this game in a really long time. <laughs> it's Maya. <laughs> Same Maya, different day. Interesting. Um, day is capitalized in previous versions of the game. I guess that was a mistake. This young lady here is Maya Faye. The younger sister of Mia Faye, my friend and mentor. I first met her two years ago. I was working on the case surrounding Mia's death, and ever since then... I've been the one who's been keeping this law office afloat from behind the scenes. Actually, that's just a cover for her true identity. In reality, she's a spirit medium and a bit of a shady character. Hey, who are you calling shady? And this little girl is Pearl Fay, but I usually call her Pearls. She's Maya's cousin and a spirit medium in training herself. I know I'm a bit young, but I want to help in any way I can, Mr. Nick. Q-Rain Village is the home of the mysterious Q-Rain channeling technique, and Maya here is the daughter of the Q-Rain School of Channeling's master. 
I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's no joke. I've seen her power with my own eyes. It's the real thing, alright? Earth to Nick, how long are you gonna make two gorgeous women like us wait? <laughs> Cute. Yes, Mr. Nick, I can't wait any longer. I want to see the exhibit. <sighs> Looks like I don't get a choice here. Might as well head on out. Treasure exhibit poster added to the court record. October 11, 7.18pm, Lordly Taylor, Main Exhibit Hall. Lordly Taylor, the city's fanciest and most expensive department store. Treasure exhibit, huh? I have to admit, I'm pretty impressed. I like the music here. Wow, this is awesome! Yeah, you can make even the cheapest junk look great. It all depends on how you display it. Oh, they even have the dusty old hanging scroll that was in the Fame Manor storeroom! Oh yeah, I remember scribbling on it when I was a little girl. On a family heirloom? Say, Nick, the person in charge of this ex exhibition is waiting for us in the basement warehouse. Alright. I guess we should go and say hello. We're looking forward to meeting this person. October 11, Lordly Taylor, Basement Warehouse. Yup, this is a basement warehouse, alright. This place is scary. I feel like a monster could jump out at any time. Don't be scared, Pearly. I'll protect you. Oh, Mr. Wright. Eek! A monster! You were right! <laughs> huh? A monster? Look who it is! Ah! <laughs> I'm so excited. Good evening. It's good to see you again. Y you I know you. Haha, <laughs> nice to see you again too, little miss. Ah, oh, uh, hello. Is she a friend of yours, Nick? And how do you know her, Pearly? Nice to meet you. I'm Adrian Andrews. I'm in charge of the promotion and planning for this treasure exhibit. I'm also responsible for security arrangements. Oh, um, nice to meet you. Adrian sure has changed since we last met. So this is the warehouse. The really valuable exhibit items are still stored away in here. It's Adrian Andrews! <laughs> oh my god. I, I just- I love Adrian Andrews, I'm sorry. <laughs> it really has been a long time, hasn't it, Mr. Wright? Nick, what's going on? Who is this woman? Why are you freaking out on me? What? I just thought it'd be more dramatic if I got all worked up, that's all. Mystic Maya, you shouldn't let me off the hook so easily. Please, Maya, don't say anything that'll needle pearls further. Mr. Wright was there for me when I really needed help. It... it was something that happened seven months ago. You remember, don't you? The Nickel Samurai case. Not really. I was stuck in a dark wine cellar. Did that escape your memory, Nick? After that, I quit being a manager and started this job. Wow, that's tough. I'm sorry, Miss Andrews, if it wasn't for us. No, don't say that. I'm glad the whole thing happened. Thanks to you and everyone else that was involved, I was able to change my whole life. I really am grateful. Whew, that's a relief. I love her so much. Look how happy she is. I'm really impressed, Miss Andrews. Handling a huge ex exhibition like this would be very tiring. Well, Lordy Taylor is celebrating their 200th anniversary this year. The works on display in the main exhibition hall are worthy of the finest museums. Woohoo! Did you hear that, Pearly? The finest museums! Yes, I did. That's really wonderful. So this basement warehouse is pretty well protected, huh? Of course it is. After all, there are some priceless treasures here. Security guards are all very highly trained as well. That sounds good. So, what is with that face she's making? Let's have a look around. We've got a cool statue here. Mystic Maya, take a look next to the door! That- that's Mystic Ami, right? Yes, that's the statue of the woman who invented the Q-Rain channeling technique, Ami Fay. This statue is on loan from one of the training halls of the Fay branch family. In fact, it just arrived this morning. Ami Fay's golden statue added to the court record. 
What's that creepy looking thing she's holding? Don't ask me, how should I know? Well, you are the future master, right? Maybe so, but this is the first time I've ever seen this statue. That thing is the Kurain Shi 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 Oh my goodness. Shichi Shito. It's a ceremonial sword. It's not a real weapon, so the blade isn't sharp. Oh, Fooey, I wanted to cut something. What are you eyeing me for? Oh, look, it's already eight. Have you all eaten yet? Um, well actually, I've already made a reservation at the restaurant on the twelfth floor. Why don't we all dine together? Oh, Adrian. Love her so much. Look how sweet she is. What a precious baby. Oh, I like the sound of that. Dine. It sounds so fancy. I'll have the kids lunch. <laughs> Pearly, it's dinner, not lunch. Why don't you go for it and really eat your fill with a kid's dinner? Okay, in that case, one kid's dinner for me. Adorable. <laughs> Shall we head upstairs then? Oh my goodness. After that pleasant evening, all that remained was to wait for the exhibition's opening. It was wonderful seeing Miss Andrews looking so happy. I know, right? Phoenix is so right. <sighs> None of us could have imagined that the very next day, something terrible would happen. <gasps> October 12th, 10.09am, Wright & Co. Law Offices. N Nick, this is terrible! What the? You're cleaning the toilet again? I never knew you were such a toilet freak. Give me a break, would you? My brain just hit the snooze button for the fifth time. Um, I'm gonna turn on the TV. We've got an update on the recent treasure heist. Based on clues found at the scene of the crime, authorities have announced that they believe it was the work of the renowned Phantom Thief. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Um... Like, another character actually just says Mask de Mask, which is what you'd think it'd be, and he corrects them. So I don't know how it's pronounced. Maybe it's Mask de Mask A? Maybe? But I don't know who the star. Like, because uh, I, I assume the star is needed as, as well. Um, I could do jazz hands. Mask de Mask A? You can't see the jazz hands, but I did them. <laughs> Mas Maske the Mask? I, I, don't, I don't know. I have no idea how to pronounce it. According to a spokesperson, Lord Lee Taylor received a threat letter some days ago. This is the fifth heist by this phantom thief who only targets rare treasures. L Lord Lee Taylor? Well, Nick, what are you going to do? Don't you dare go back to scrubbing the toilet. Treasure? Lord Lee Taylor? You don't think... Yes, now get up, Nick. It was stolen by Mask the Maske. I'm just going to go with Mask de Maske. Our most valuable treasure! The Curane Sacred Urn was stolen! What? Yeah, the Curane Sacred Urn was stolen. Thankfully, Adrian was not murdered, which is what you might expect given how this game works, but no, it was, it was just theft. <laughs> Refresh my memory a little. What's this Sacred Urn? It's only the most important treasure in Curane Village, that's all. Look, it's right there on this poster. Don't you remember what's inside? The urn contains a very important soul. Namely, the soul of mystic Amy Fay, the founder of the Turane channeling technique. Right, Pearly? Ah, uh, yes, th that's right. Hold up. I thought that urn had the name Amy written on it. Now it says, I am. Hmm, any idea how that happened, Pearly? Huh? Uh, I... well... <laughs> there are some things best left unsolved, wouldn't you say, Mr. Nick? That's right. One year ago, there was a murder in Curane Village, Maya's hometown. The Sacred Urn. It turned out to be an important clue in that case. The Sacred Urn added to the court record. Okay, the toilet is shinier than the judge's head, so let's see what's next. What's wrong with you, Nick? What do you mean? What do you mean, what? Mr. Nick, your beloved Mystic Myers treasure has been stolen. 
Doesn't that even bother you? But I thought the urn was the village's treasure, so I don't see how... The village is Mystic Maya. She's the future master of the Curain School of Channeling. You know what I'm talking about, Mr. Nick. I will let you say you don't. Uh, okay, okay, I do. So what am I supposed to do about it? Isn't it obvious? Go and find the bad guy who did this. Yeah, and get the sacred urn back. But I'm not a detective. I'm a lawyer. That has nothing to do with this. If you're a real gentleman, you would find it for your beloved Mystic Maya. Man, oh man. There's no winning against Pearl's fairy tale imaginary image of love. So what's the name of this bad guy again? Mask de Maske, Nick. Make a note of it. Mask de Maske. Oh, it was terrible. I was arrested and everything. One year ago, the murder in Curain Village. A man was killed during one of Maya's spirit channelings, and this arm wound up being the key piece of evidence that proved her innocence. Um, Mr. Nick? Would you mind not telling Mystic Maya about that? You promised, remember? Y you said you wouldn't tell anyone I broke the urn. Oh, yeah, that's right. Now I remember. This urn used to say Amy on it. Until Pearls accidentally broke it into a million pieces. She tried to secretly fix it. Well, let's just say it didn't work out so well. Sorry, I'm not so good at arts and crafts. Spelling either. Oh, precious baby. Anyway, this is how her, gl her gluing project turned out. She put the pieces together wrong, and now, instead of Amy, it says, I am. I can't believe no one's noticed this until now, a whole year later. I can't believe it myself. But it's true, no one's noticed. Let's go. October 12th, Lordly Taylor, Main Exhibition Hall. Right, let's see if we can find some clues that might lead us to the bad guy. But it doesn't look do, but it doesn't look like anything has been disturbed. Yeah, it looks pretty much the same as it did last night. Hmm. Bad guy, huh? Hey, you can't poke around here, pal. Wait a minute, that voice. Oh no, not him again. It's you, and I'm the one who should be saying not again. Why is it that every time something bad happens, you always show up, pal? I should be asking you that. Aren't there any other detectives? No, I should be asking you that. What are you doing hanging around here? Hey, I asked you first. Why are you here any... Alright, alright, we got it. Why don't you two kiss and make up already? Oh, that'd be cute. God, I wish. Why don't you two kiss and make up already? Um, hello. It's been a long time, Mr. Scruffy Detective. Oh, it's you, little missy. Um, uh... Actually, my name is Gumshoe. Detective Dick Gumshoe. Now is a good chance for you to try to remember it right. And if it's too long for you, you can just call him Dick. You can just call him Dick. Okay, it's good to see you again, Mr. Detective Dick. Um, yeah, good to see you again too, I guess. What happened? Um, Mr. Detective Dick, can you tell us about what happened? Oh, you're trying to remember my name. Atta girl. Um, just, it's Gumshoe, okay? Anyway, the thief stole something called the Sacred Urn. I know about that. Oh, well, the criminal's name is Mask de Maske. I know about that too. Detective, can't you tell us something other than that? W well, I guess I sorta kinda owe you guys, in a way. The crime occurred last night at around 1.30 in the morning. How exactly do you know that? We got an emergency phone call from a guard at the scene of the crime, pal. He said, the urn was just stolen. The scene of the crime? You mean here, right? Wrong. That urn was being kept under careful guard in the basement warehouse. Basement warehouse, huh? Um, so who was guarding the basement warehouse? That guy. It's all his fault that the thief got away, pal. He solves one case and gets a swelled head thinking that he's an ace detective. A ace detective? Let's keep talking. <laughs> hey, Detective Gumshoe, about this mask to mask eh? Is he famous? What? You're joking, right, Nick? 
Master Masuke is the hottest thing since sliced bread. Sometimes he appears as a museum guard. Sometimes he appears as a big brown bear known to surprise unexpected, unsuspecting victims. <laughs> Underneath those two disguises is the true Master Masuke. So he's some kind of master of disguise, huh? And he only goes after the finest works of art, pal. Last night was his fifth heist. If Lordly Taylor only cooperated, I could have caught him this time. What? Then you knew he was planning on stealing the sacred urn? Of course I did. The guy always sends his calling card before he steals something. Calling card, huh? They mentioned that on TV. Ace Detective? So why do you call him an Ace Detective anyway? That's what he calls himself, pal. I didn't make it up. So, what's he like? Well, like I told you, Master Masuke has made five heists so far. On the fourth heist, Mr. Ace Detective managed to get the stolen treasure back. Wow, that is impressive. All by himself? Yeah, I gotta admit it, pal. Maybe he really is as good as he says. Every time the thief sends one of his calling cards, we send our men on a stakeout. But none of us has ever gotten so much as a glimpse of the guy. Mr. S. Detective was able to retrieve the stolen treasure from the thief. Anyway, he's at the scene of the crime right now, looking for clues. So he's down in the basement warehouse, huh? So what's this calling card? Here it is. But don't show it to anyone. It's top secret, okay, pal? What's this mark on the front? That's Master Masuke's signature emblem, pal. You could say it's his mark. All of his calling cards have got it on them. They didn't mention that on the newsflash. We're withholding that detail from the public for operational reasons. The only way we can tell if a calling card is real or not is by this emblem. That emblem looks really easy to, re to replicate, so alright. Calling card to the court record. That makes sense. When you get famous, there are always imitators. Mr. Nick, if you work a little harder, maybe you can have your own copycat someday. Um, uh, thanks, I guess. Let's go to the basement. October 12th, Lordly Taylor, Basement Warehouse. No matter how many times we come here, this place always gives me the chills. That's probably because it's air-conditioned, to protect the art pieces, you know? Welcome to my private little banquet of chaos. Huh? What the heck does that mean? I'm afraid I have very little to offer, but please, make yourself at home. Uh, um, who are you anyway? Shh, silence! <laughs> now I see, it's all becoming clear. What do you see? Zvary. The truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me. A lawyer, and a spirit medium, neither very advanced at their trade. Am I wrong? Yikes! That's scary! It, how did you know that? How, you say? The universal skeptic would say that how is nothing but a question of why. I am a traveller of both time and space, and a swimmer of dreams. What is he talking about? I can't make heads or tails of it. Without further ado, let me fulfill what should be the first duty of any gentleman. And introduce myself. The name is Atme. Luke Atme. See what they did there? <laughs> Ace Detective. Oh, um, hi. Don't let him intimidate you, Nick. Stand up and show him what you're made of. Uh, um, the name's Wright. Phoenix Wright. Ace Attorney. They said the thing. They said the thing. <laughs> I'm Maya Faye, a spirit medium. And I'm, um, Pearl Faye. I'm Mystic Maya's cousin and, um, spirit medium ace apprentice. Excellent. Well then, shall we begin our little game? Game? Why does the phrase one short of a baker's dozen come to mind with this guy? I believe he won't let me look at the crime scene yet. Yeah. Tisk, Sir Lawyer, please refrain from such crude behaviour. Huh? W what do you mean? This criminal is an artiste. The crime scene is the canvas upon which he paints. Only I, Ace Detective at me, have an eye which is educated enough to read the signs. Could you translate that for me, Nick? I think you pretty much said don't touch anything, amateurs. If there's something you wish to know about, you have but to ask at me. 
I know everything there is to know about my rival, Mask de Masque. What do I do now? Does he have any top secret information? Stuff only a real crime buff would know? I think about what to ask while I listen to what Mr. Ace Detective has to say. Okay, so yeah, we can't examine anything yet, which is annoying because there are some clues down there that we want to have a look at. Uh, but we have to talk to him first. Um, so are you really as famous as you say? Of course. For a lawyer, you have a rather shocking lack of knowledge about the world. I had no idea anyone was left in this city that had not heard of me. Look at me! I am Master Masque's archenemy, the ace detective Luke at me. At this moment, there are two mighty figures which loom large over this grand city. One embodies the nefarious voices of darkness, the other the angelic cherubs of light. Boy, now I'm really lost. What is he saying, Nick? I have been personally on the heels of this villain since his first crime. After learning this criminal's patterns, I thwarted his very latest loathsome larceny. I even returned the target of his tyranny, the portrait of Magina, to the crime scene. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> I did it all by myself. I took it back from Mask de Masque, with my brawny mind and my brilliant muscles. Yeah, they mentioned it on the news in the Great People Around Town segment. They said that the museum gave you an incredible jewel as a reward. Well, compared to the treasure that I retrieved for them, it's not much. So, in the end, the only thing that makes you great is your own self-praise. Oh, tell us what you know about Mask de Masque, and keep it simple, please. Like about how I have devoted my life to thwarting his dastardly deeds? Last night, here in the bowels of this store, we were locked in a most glorious battle. I see. Huh? Hang on a second. You were here last night? Here, in Lordly Taylor. Naturally. Wherever Damask Damasque goes, you'll find Atme laying his elegant traps. Elegant traps? More like Damasque out-elegance you and made a beautiful getaway. But this time, I allowed him to escape the illusion of victory. I wonder if I should ask him about what happened last night in more detail. Um, can you tell us exactly what happened here last night? But of course. After all, I always say there should be no secrets between aces. Flattery will get you nowhere, Pinocchio. I first received a request for my services 20 days ago. And it was 10 days ago that we received Master Masque's calling card. Huh? You were hired before the calling card even arrived? Yes, you see, the person who hired me is quite rigorous and thorough. That's Adrian for you. A mere ten days after hiring me, her worst premonitions were realised. A calling card arrived, right? Yes, so ace detective that I am, I set a trap for the thief right in the warehouse. And waited for him. Alone. Alone? But why? Why didn't you go to, go to the police for help? Because ACAB, Maya. ACAB. Ridiculous. Why would I seek help from such a singularly useless, useless group of nincompoops? Oh, he's right. Good take, Luke. You've got a lot of nerve. After all, it was you that let Damasque get away. I always operate alone and concealed, out of the sight of others. Concealed? Precisely. Even the guards on duty here were unaware of my presence. To fool your enemies, first you must fool your friends. That's my own original proverb. Anyway, back to what happened last night. As I was saying, I hid here in the warehouse and waited for the thief to arrive. But I swear to you, not a solitary soul came through that entrance. Nevertheless, the sacred urn disappeared. But that's impossible. How could it just disappear? How, you ask? Don't be ridiculous, sir lawyer. If I knew the answer to that question, I wouldn't be here. For someone who seriously messed up his own stakeout, he's rather full of himself. So you're saying that even though one, on one, even though on one, uh, no one came through. Typo. No one came through those doors last night. Our precious urn still somehow vanished from under your nose? That's just not possible. Can I look at the crime scene yet? No. I don't think I need to show him some stuff. But I don't know why. Um... I'm 
Sorry I can't be more helpful, but I have no interest save that of finding evidence against my arch rival. No, it's okay. Nick is just doing a piddling evidence hog. That's his defense style. A piddling evidence hog, you say? In that case, I'll simply be wasting my breath. Yeah, I guess you're right. Thanks, Maya. Why couldn't you have said I was a rival and not a piddling evidence hog? Oh my god. Um, ask about the urn? Do not fear, young lady. I promise I shall retrieve your urn. Thank you, Detective Atme. I'm counting on you. The final round between Detective Luke Atme and Master Maske is set to begin. Still, there's something funny about this guy. Yeah, but don't forget he managed to retrieve the treasure from the last heist. Yes, I even have a video that details my role in the whole affair. I recorded it directly from the news on TV. Can I interest you in a copy? No thanks. Uh, ask about the emblem, maybe? Master Maske's calling card. It's got his emblem printed on it, right? Quite impressive, but I would expect nothing less from my arch rival. I'm surprised to see you in possession of such a top secret piece of information. Well, we've got an ace lawyer, an ace spirit medium, and an ace cousin apprentice here. Yes, indeed. I think I could learn to like you, my fellow ace professionals. I don't know if I really want this guy to like us. Ever. Well, Sir Lawyer. I've been told that you two are pursuing the mysterious thief. Well, I'm not sure I would say that exact- That's right! We're going to find the sacred urn no matter what we have to do. Excellent. I will trust you. I permit you to take a look around while I investigate elsewhere. If, perchance, you should discover something of value, return then to my office. My office of earthly delights, the Atme Detective Agency. A office of earthly d delights? Well then, Sir Lawyer, if you'll excuse me, I have much to do. Wait a minute. He's gone. I don't like the idea of doing this guy's work for him. Come on, Nick. Don't worry about it. It's no big deal. Let's hurry up and investigate before he changes his mind. I want to go to his office too. Take me with you, okay? Okay, now we can investigate. I hope my Atme voice was okay. Mm. That pathetic lo looking wooden box. Ah! That's the box that had the sacred urn in it. Don't touch it. There may be clues to the thief's identity on there. Ugh. I worked so hard to make that box. Huh? You made that poor excuse for a box, Maya? What's that supposed to mean? Looks good to me. Looks like a nice box. The owner's always been on its stand in the winding way of Fay Manor, so there was no box suitable for it, Mr. Nick. And I... I was so proud of it. <laughs> poor Maya. Maybe it'd have been better if Master Maske had taken the box too. Oh, poor Maya. Wow, this is awesome! What did Miss Andrews say it was called again? Shichusito. It's literally seven branch sword in Japanese. Or so says Miss Andrews. I guess she told us that over dinner. But yeah, it is. Shichishito. Yeah. Whoa, it's pretty heavy. One hit, seven times the fun. Pretty catchy, huh? I bet it'd sell like hotcakes. Um, there's something about it that bothers me. Wow, you're really firing in all cylinders today, Pearly. This sword. Wasn't Mystic Army holding it last night? Ah. And another thing, the sword wasn't bent last light night like it is now. Y you're right. Awesome, Pearly. I wouldn't have expected any less from my little ace apprentice. The sword is bent, so that must mean last night someone used it somehow. Aha! I just thought of something. Maybe Detective Atme smashed Mask to Maske with it. Like this. Youch! What the heck? <laughs> what do you think, Pearly? I think it's even more bent than it was before. Oh man, my head. My hair! Chichi Shido added to the court record. Yeah, that is important. Burr? It looks like a part of a big signboard. All I can read on it is the burr. Aha! I've got it! Maybe it's supposed to say HAMBURGER! Why would anyone write HAMBURGER that big? Like, maybe for the World Hamburger Festival or something? I kinda doubt it. 
Aha, uh -huh, I've got it. Maybe it said spaghetti. <laughs> Why are you talking about food? Oh, wait, that's normal for you. Anyway, it says burr. There's no way it could be spaghetti. Well, maybe it was a typo. It might have said spaghetti festival. What do you think? Okay to me. Besides, spaghetti is the only thing more tangled than your, than your reasoning. This statue of Mr. Gami is so cool. So, so cool. I want a gold statue of myself. We could put it in the office. Hey, it's right and co. How about a gold statue of me? Um, Mr. Nick, I'm sorry, but I noticed something strange. Huh? What is it, Pearls? The statue of Mr. Gami. Was this where it was last night? Ah. I'm pretty sure it was closer to the door. Y yeah, I think you're right. Great job, Pearly. I wouldn't expect anything less from my ace cousin. So the statue was moved on the night of the crime. Army face gold statue updated in the court record. Is it Army or Ami? I've been swapping back and forth. Let's say Army. Do -do 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 -do. There's some paint on the ground. Look what you did, Nick. You spilled paint over here. I didn't do that. Well, it wasn't here last night. I would have noticed a colour this outrageous. But this paint has already dried up. Well then, you should have cleaned it up before it dried, Nick. Paint doesn't dry that fast. Besides, I told you it wasn't me. It looks like it's been several days since it was spilled. Hey, look at this. What is it? There's some kind of shape left in the bottom left side of this stain. Huh? You're right. I wonder what it could be. I think I know what it is. It's this box, but it won't let me look at that. So I guess I'll look at something else. Computer? Hey Pearly, do you know what this is? It's a computer. A computer? Oh, I've heard of those. It has such a cute name. Oh, so do you, Pearl. It looks like this computer is restoring the data from the security camera. When someone comes in or out of the warehouse, the camera takes a photo of them. Probably the trap the detective set up. Let's see if we can find last night's data on this thing. We might even find a photo of Mask de Maske. Hmm, let's see here. Let's see here, not let's. <laughs> Typo. Man, I really stink at working these things. What's wrong, Mr. Nick? You're sweating an awful lot. I don't know how to pull up the photos. I had no idea you were so pathetic with high-tech stuff, Nick. Yeah, well, I managed to put out the camera data anyway. I guess you have to learn to crawl before you can walk, right, Nick? Yeah, sure. Anyway, it looks like the camera only went off once last night. Camera data added to the court record. Cool. Uh, what else do we need? Mr. Nick, what's that big door over there? It looks like it's the door to the actual storeroom. I can see lots of big boxes and stuff back there. I guess that's where they were keeping the sacred urn. Remember, Maya, Miss Andrews said we're not allowed in there. Um... It's a security camera. It's trained on the big door to the storeroom. It's set up to take a photo of any of anyone that goes in or out. A security camera? Yeah, go stand in front of that door and it'll snap your photo too, Pearly. <gasps> um, Mystic Mai, do you think I should smile? Nah, it's a criminal, so I think you should make a really scary face. L like this? Oh, adorable. <laughs> uh... Maybe I should look at the box again? It's showing a tick, but let's see what happens. No, okay. Um, I guess we're done here for now. Hey Nick, your cell phone's ringing. Beep. Hello, Phoenix Wright here. Oh ho 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 It's me, Gumshoe. Gumshoe, what is it? What's so funny? I'll tell you what's funny, pal. I finally beat him. I beat Mr. Ace Detective. Finally! This underdog is the alpha dog today. That stuck-up detective's met his match. Yup. I finally caught him. Lock, stock, and barrel. There's no escape for him. 
you caught him? Are you saying... You, you captured Master Maske? Bingo! Well, actually, he surrendered. But I still got him. Master Maske surrendered? That's great! So when can we come and pick up the Sacred Urn? Um, uh, well, you see, I was gonna tell you. What? Something wrong? Do you think you can swing by the detention center sometime? The detention center? He wants to talk to you. Mask to mask, eh, that is. What? He wants to talk to Nick? I'll be waiting for you, pal, so get over here soon. Nick. The detention center, huh? Detention center, we have to go through our office to get there. There we go. <laughs> October 12th, detention center. Visitor's room. Hey pal, welcome to the detention center. You sure are in a happy mood, aren't you? Yup, after all, we got mask to mask. Right, but, um, so where's the sacred urn? Oh, sorry about that pal, I guess I didn't really think about it before. But you're the victim in this case. Huh? Well, I guess I should let you guys hear the story straight from the horse's mouth. You know, he's right, Nick. He is? If you think about it real hard, we are the victims. Well, I guess so, in a way. Um, I'm so used to thinking of the victim as a dead person, because we're always on murder cases. E excuse me? But anyway, I have to go get the sacred urn back. Please, don't just ignore me! Uh... Um, who are you? I, uh, um, I... I'm m m m m Mask to Maske? Uh, okay? Hey, Nick. Doesn't he look kind of, well, gangly? I'm Von Delight, the, the famous Mask to Maske. I didn't think this guy could punch his way out of a wet paper bag. So, you're the- you're the mask guy, the mask guy? Yes, you bet. Uh, no, uh, that's wrong. Y you see, it's complicated. Sort of yes and sort of no, if you know what I mean. Huh? What's wrong? Well, when I say wrong, what I really mean to say is that it's not right, per se. You see, it's not spelled mask a de mask, it's actually mask de mask. <laughs> What's with this guy? Well, he's a timid little weakling, we know that much. D don't do that. Don't look at me like that. I don't need your pity. And a major crybaby, too. So, why did you why did you give yourself up? Well, you see, it's because, well... I know why, it's because you stole such a priceless treasure. And now you're overwhelmed with guilt, am I right? Priceless treasure? That broken old urn? Um, I have a little favor to ask. Yes? What is it? Could you go and talk to Desi? Desi? Probably Desi. To, to Desi? D Desi? Sacred urn. Look, we really want our, our urn back, so where is it? I'm sorry, I'll give it back. I really will. Uh, maybe not. No, I can't. I can't make promises I can't keep. I'll send up hurting people. Um, Mr. Nick? I couldn't hear what he just said, especially the last part. Um, Mr. Damasque, do you think you could speak up a little? Y y y yes, sir, I will, I promise. Uh, maybe not. You see, I'm already speaking in my normal voice, so I really can't do anything. Mr. Damask? About Damasque? About the urn? Oh, yes, the urn. Right away. Uh, actually, no. I wouldn't mind telling you, but actually I'm afraid you wouldn't believe me anyway. Enough already, just tell us to it straight. Uh, it was straight. Please, please don't yell at me! Huff, huff, huff. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. That urn, I, I, I lost it. What? What did you just say? Did you say you lost it? Yes, uh, no, uh, maybe so. I mean, yes, I lost it. What do you mean? Well, you know, I, I lost it. Like I said, these things just happen. You're on the train and you get distracted and you forget your bag, you know? What? 
You forgot how Saik would earn on a train? Wait a minute, you went on a train dressed like that? N no, I, I... I was just speaking hypothetically, that's all. Uh, anyway... I'm sorry, I just lost it somewhere, I don't know where. This guy's story is more surreal than a Dali painting. Are you really sure this creep is Masked Damasuke? My, I don't call him a creep. Although I do have to admit, I understand your doubts about this guy. So, who is this Desi person? Please don't talk about my wife like that! Uh, I guess she must be his wife. <sighs> I'm sorry, the truth is... It was my wife that told me to have you all come here. Um, do you think you could go and visit her at my hideout? H hideout? Mr. Nick, what does he mean by hideout? Oh, sorry. Naturally, I meant to say my secret base. S secret base? Well, my apartment, actually. Palazzo Pel Pepe. Third floor. Let's go have a look, Nick. Damask Damasco's hideout. Something tells me she just likes the sound of the word hideout. Yeah, we're gonna go see Desi. Uh... At Damasque's hideout. October 12th, Mask Damasque's hideout. Wow, check this place out. No doubt about it, this is Mask Damasque's hideout, alright. Who is it? Is that you, Ronnie? Huh? Who are you people? Uh, um. Are you Desi Delight? That's right, I'm Desiree. Ah. Uh, thanks to uh, Desiree Too Loud for teaching me how to pronounce the name Desiree, because I had no idea. I would have said Desiree. It's Desiree. Oh, you must be the lawyer, and the victim. It, yeah, that's us. Your husband told us to stop by and speak with you. I'm Maya Faye, and this is Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. Nicky Boy and Maya, huh? I can't tell you how grateful I am that you decided to help my Ronnie. Well, um... Uh, ha ha you're welcome? Did she really call me Nicky Boy? Um, about your husband. <laughs> Isn't he the cutest? A bit weak sometimes, though. A bit? By the way, did you know they mentioned Maya on TV? Huh? Really? They said you own the urn and that you're doing some shady training at a law office now. Remind me not to watch that channel's news program. After I saw that, I thought it might be a good idea to meet the lawyer they mentioned. I see. My Ronnie, he has a powerful imagination and gets deluded easily. He kept insisting he was going to surrender to the police. I didn't know what to do. It was me, I saw that urn, he kept saying. As if it was even possible. Huh? But, are you saying he didn't? <laughs> of course he didn't. Why would my Ronnie ever do something like that? Well, you know, it's a priceless treasure, and, and he's, you know, is it possible his own wife doesn't know his secret identity? Me? I'm the kind of woman that needs excitement in her life. Oh, excitement, huh? Yes, I'm at my happiest when I'm racing along with my bike going at full throttle. Riding a motorcycle is like putting your life on the line, you know what I mean? Well, I think that depends on how you ride it. I'm the type that can't stand living a boring, dreary old life with no action. No offense, but your husband, Ron, doesn't exactly look like the risk-taking type himself. You're right about that, he's definitely not one for thrills and danger. But I do have to say that he makes up for it in other ways. Other ways? Yeah, money. Money is incredibly rich, and super generous. He bought me a bike that's so fast it would make your head spin. And shopping? I like to shop so much it makes Ron's head spin. The other day, it actually happened. His head actually started to spin. Man, talk about a high maintenance wife. Leave her alone, Phoenix. <laughs> so where does Mr. De Mr. Delight get all this money from? Ronnie's a security guard. They put their lives on the line, right? So they get paid tons of money in return. Tons of it. He's a security guard. I think it's my turn for my head to spin. Can you tell us about what happened last night? Hmm, what time did that incident take place again? What time was it again, Maya? 
Well, according to Detective Gumshoe, it was around 1.30 in the morning. Ah, last night was horrible. I got pulled over. P pulled over? Yes, I always do my best flying at night. Flying? Uh, you're talking about your motorcycle, right? Yes. Anyway, last night I got pulled over by a policeman. Hey, cab! I can't believe he caught up to me. It was a great chase, let me tell you. When he finally caught me, the poor man was as white as a sheet. It was about three in the morning when I finally got home. Sounds like she's got an airtight alibi. Well, what about Mr. Delight? I don't really know. We weren't together at the time of the night. That time of the night. But when I got home, he was already fast asleep. So basically, he's got no alibi. Oh, that's so cute! It's called a hot air balloon, you know? Wow, there's no fooling you! <laughs> I want to make my own balloon now. I'll even let you ride in it, Mick. That emblem on the balloon is supposed to be top secret. That's proof enough that Ron Delight really is Mask the Mask, eh? I better not tell Maya. She gets kinda... scary when it comes to celebrities. Um... I think I need to ask her about Mask the Mask, eh? Um, Mr. Light, you must know, right? About your husband and Mask the Mask, eh? Mask the Mask? Ask, eh? Of course, I know all about it. My husband is his biggest fan. Yup, what? Huh? B biggest fan? Yes, and Ronnie can be pretty delusional sometimes. That's how this whole most misunderstanding happened. W wait a minute, did you say delusional? Yes, that's right. I just don't know what I'm going to do with him. I'm not a big fan of the of using the word delusional, or or, or whatever here. Um, not 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 great. Not great. You see, Ronnie actually believes that he is Master Maske. Eh? What? What are you talking about? So, when did Ron first become Master Maske? Eh? What are you talking about? He's not Master Maske. Eh? Huh? But, wait a second. Look around at this room. This place is obviously Master Maske's hideout. No, no, you're totally wrong. A real thief's hideout wouldn't look like this. It's because Ronnie is so timid himself that he looks up to heroic figures. Heroic figures? But Master Maske is a bad guy. No, he's not, Maya. He's a thief. Those are the good guys. Come on, Maya. You silly. So he's deluded, huh? Could that really be true? Anyway, if he really had stolen the urn, wouldn't he still have it? Well, I suppose so. Then why don't you ask him if he has the urn or not? She has a point. Mr. Delight isn't exactly the criminal type. But something about Ron's behaviour bothers me. Maybe it's true. Maybe Mr. Delight isn't Master Maske after all. Say, can I ask you something, Nicky boy? What is it? I know I may seem like a bad girl on the outside, but the one thing I won't stand for is illegal activity. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, she's she's bad. Do crimes, Desiree, do crimes. I had the feeling you wouldn't. You're tough, but I can tell you've got a good heart. What does that have to do with doing crimes? Somebody framed my poor Ronnie, I just know it. Um, could you give this to Ronnie for me? A letter? Yes, for Ronnie. I want him to fight back. Mr. Light. Okay, you've got it. Just relax and leave it all to us. Desiree's letter added to the court record. Okay, we give letter to Ron. Oh, that's right, here. This is from your wife. Oh, from Desi? Thank you! Letter given to Mask to Mask, eh? Actually, more like Taken. My dear Ronnie, how are you? I'm doing fine. He's clutching onto that letter so hard the ink is going to be squeezed out. Oh, He looks so happy. You should write a letter to Mystic Maya too, Mr. Nick. Um, Mr. Lawyer? Yes? In the letter that Desi wrote, she said... Ask this guy to be your lawyer. Huh? Uh, um, 
I know this would be asking a lot, but could you please take my case? My trial starts tomorrow. Hey, hang on a second. You can't be a lawyer. Why not? What do you mean, why not? We're the victims in this case, right? Victims of this Damasque guy. Well, yeah, but according to Desiree, he didn't do it. She said, poor man, he's deluded himself into thinking he did it. Right, Mr. Nick? Come on, she could be lying to protect her husband. Well, that's true. Uh, no, actually not. Actually, it's hard to say. Oh no, it's spreading. <laughs> oh please, I'll give you the treasure of your choice in return. Hmm, what should I do? Yeah, we're gonna take his case. Well, Mr. Delight, I've decided to give it a try. I'll defend you. Really? You will? Hey, what are you doing, Nick? He, he's a thief. You can't trust him. He's a thief. That means you can trust him. <laughs> Come on, Pearl. <laughs> She's been watching the wrong cartoons. Well, he may be a thief, but I think there's more to this case than meets the eye. M Mr. Nick, I, I was wrong about you. I shouldn't have trusted you. But Pearls? I can't believe you defend this person after what he did to Mystic Maya. I, I, I'll never forgive you. Ever. Oh no, I'm sorry, Pearls. P Pearly, wait. This is going to be ugly. I I'll go after her. I'm um, sorry about that. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. Well, you couldn't have known she'd react like that. I guess I might as well start investigating. Oh, Maya, where's Pearls? She said she's going back to the office. Go check in on her later, would you? And what about you? Are you okay with me taking Mr. Delight's case? Y yeah, I'm fine, Nick. I believe in you. <laughs> I think I'm gonna cry. Um, I, uh, I know you have a lot of work to do. I, I really appreciate it. Okay, Nick, let's get this show on the road. Okay, we've taken his case. Uh, go back to the office. October 12th, Wright & Co. Law Offices. Ah, Mr. Nick, w welcome back. Oh, hey, Pearls. You're back too, I see. I, um, I went and bought us a strawberry cake. I'll go make us some tea to go with it. Hey, uh, Pearls? It looks like she feels really bad about what happened at the detention center. Yeah, we just saw this. Mystic Maya, the tea is ready. Oh, thanks. Come on, Mr. Nick, please have some of this cake. Yeah, thanks. Um, pearls? Oh, uh, excuse me, I was in the middle of cleaning the toilet. Hey, it's okay, I just cleaned it this morning. Too late. This might be a good time for you to ask about her. About, ask about her. Pearl. I first met Pearls a year ago. It was when that murder happened at Kurain Village. I still remember what she said to me when we first met. You... you're Mr. Nick, right? You're... you're Mystic Maya's... special someone. Hey, Maya, I've always thought it was because she was young, but... But what? Pearls... I think she's got the wrong idea. About you and me. Huh? Uh, I... Um... There's something you do understand. What is it? Um, it's kind of like a QN village custom, sort of. Paul seems to love you a lot. Well, it's because I'm her only cousin, and, well, because of the murder case last year, Pearlie's mother is... Oh, yeah. I remember now. Pearl's mother, Morgan Fay. She's serving a prison term in isolation right now. So you see, I'm the only family Pearl Hat Polly has right now. But it's the same for me too. Maya. My mother's gone. My mother's gone too. There are hardly any men in Kurain Village. Awesome. <laughs> now that you mention it, I never actually saw any men there when I visited. I mean, you did. You saw Dr. Grey. But then he died, so... 
I'm pretty sure I told you about it a long time ago. About how spiritual powers run very strong in the Fae family? Yeah, you did. And that's why you're undergoing training to be a spirit medium, right? Yeah, the thing is, only women can actually inherit spiritual power. That's why the whole culture of Kurain Village kind of revolves around its women? Well, that's understandable. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but because of that, there tends to be a lot of unsuccessful marriages. Maya, right, you don't have to marry men. It's easy. You can marry other people. <laughs> oh? Oh? Well, men start to feel left out after a while, and they just start leaving. Especially if the man has a daughter. Are you saying that Pearl's father? He's gone. He left the village when she was very young. Boy, that's tough. Yeah, and she grew up seeing nothing but unhappy marriages all around her. Did, 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 does Curane Village know about lesbians? Like, I, I know that they kind of cut off from society, but I feel like they probably know about lesbians. That's why she's so sensitive to things like that. So your mother's still missing? Yeah, and no one has any idea where she is. Maya's mother, Misty Fay, the current master of the Curane channeling technique. She disappeared 17 years ago after getting involved in a certain police case. But you're sure she's still alive, right? Yeah, I know she is. It's sort of a spirit medium thing. And if your mother doesn't come back, then what? Then according to the laws of the village, I'll become the next master. Mystic Maya, the master of the Curane technique. Sounds like a heavy responsibility. Yeah, but there's no one else with the blood of the Fae main family who's a spirit medium. Well, Nick, why don't we go out and start investigating? We're not going to learn anything just sitting here around the office. Yeah, I know, but first I want to talk to Pearls. Um, Miss Nick? Yeah? I... I acted like a baby. Pearls. I doubted you, even though Mystic Maya trusted you completely. I guess I still have a lot of training to do. Mr. Nick. Yes? I, from the bottom of my heart, I apologize for what I said. Oh, it's okay. I'm the one that should be apologizing. Well, I'm going out now for a little bit. Huh? Where are you going? I may be small, but I still have a lot of spirit channeling power. So I'm going to show you I can be useful too by finding some evidence. Hey, wait, wait up. Ack! She sure runs fast. Nick, let's back off and give her some room, okay? Yeah. I, know, I think she's a bit young to be running around by herself, but... I mean, how old is she in this game? Nine? Yeah, I feel like she shouldn't be running around by herself in, in murder scenes. It doesn't sound ideal. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we can find at Lordly Taylor, but let's have a quick look. October 12th, Lordly Taylor, Main Exhibition Hall. M Maya! Oh, Adrian. Oh, Miss Andrews. I'm so sorry, it's my fault. Your precious urn. Your precious urn. Please, calm down, what's wrong? It never ends. Everything I touch ends in failure. Maya, I'm sorry, I'll do anything to make it up to you. N no, it's okay, don't... I know I don't look it, but I'm good with my hands. I could make you another urn. Hold on, just wait, okay? Breathe, calm down and talk to us. Forgive me, forgive me. Oh, sweetie. Um, so when did you get the calling card from Mask de Masque? Let's see, exactly ten days ago. I was going to show it to the police, but that detective stopped me. Um, so you asked Detective Atme to help with security? Yes, in fact it was about twenty days ago that I hired him. He seemed to know much more about Mask de Masque than the police. So you hired him for security even before the calling card arrived? Well, yes, I had a premonition that something bad might happen. I've learned to trust my hunches. So that's why there are security cameras, even in the basement warehouse? Yes, Baldy Taylor is very serious about their security measures. It was their way of saying, bring it on, to any potential thieves. Well, he sure brought it last night, and even left with a nice souvenir. Um, can you tell us a bit about the security for the treasure exhibit? It was all my fault. I never should have called this paltry little collection treasure exhibit anyway. 
Why do you say that? The urn that was stolen is a pretty important object. Maybe, but its actual value after appraisal was, well, practically zero. And there shouldn't be an apostrophe on it, the, it's the... that's a typo again. Zero? I polished it until it was just about glowing. I thought maybe I could make it look more valuable. But, but that urn contains the soul of Mystic Army. Anyway, I left all the security arrangements to Detective Atme. But five days ago, I began receiving all sorts of other exhibit, exhibit items from q -Rain. Lots of people started going in and out of the warehouse down there. So maybe one of them was actually Master Masque in disguise. No, I personally checked out everyone that came, in, came through here, so that's not possible. Knowing Adrian, she probably even checked out what they ate for breakfast that morning. Sweetie, I love you, Adrian. Uh, I don't know if we can get more stuff here in the warehouse. Yes, we can. That pathetic looking wooden box. Ah! That's the box without the sacred urn in it. Don't touch it. There may be clues to the thief's identity on it. I worked so hard to make that box. Yeah, I've read this already. I think this is basically the same text. <laughs> I'd like to strap it to my waist and walk around town like a samurai. Careful, Gumshu will lock you up and throw you away. The, throw away the key if you're caught. Why? Like, w wearing a ceremonial sword that isn't sharp is not a crime. It looks to me like it's been dry for several days. There's something suspicious about this paint mark. The bottom left part of it is shaped oddly and it's shocking pink. I don't see how the colour of the paint is in any way important. When we were here with Miss Andrews last night, the statue wasn't where it is now. Yeah, it was right next to the door, wasn't it? Well, if someone moved it, it was probably the criminal. Maybe he didn't like being watched by Mystic Army while he stole the urn. Hey, cut it out. You're giving me the creeps with that kind of talk. Okay, there's nothing else to get here, unless we can get a photo. Let's have a look. According to the computer data, someone did in fact go through these, those big doors last night, right? Yeah, I guess so. The shutter did go off once, you know. Maybe we need to ask Adrian to help us with that? I can't remember. I'll try asking showing you the data. Um, Miss Andrews? I know, I know, it's all my fault. But what's done is done. I'll make it up by making a new one for you. I'm just wasting my time. She's too far gone. Okay, so no, I can't show her the camera data to get the photo. So, let's go to at me. October 12th, at me detective agency. Hello? Well, well. How lovely it is to see you again, my dear. Welcome to my abode. Relax and soak up the atmosphere. Uh, um, we're actually kind of... Shh, silence. He 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 he, precisely as I expected. W what is? Zvari. The truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me. A lawyer and a spirit medium, am I correct? Um, I think we've already been through this. Huh, so my estimation was correct. Zvari, how truly elegant. Now then, what can I do for you? You mentioned before that you were on guard duty all alone last night. Precisely. This is my fifth encounter with my arch enemy. I refuse to allow anyone to interfere with the rightful pursuit of my prey. I heard you've been after Master Masque since his very first theft? Yes, my dear. I see you've done your homework. In his very first heist, the vile thief pilfered the famous jewel, the Tear of Eminon. I first encountered him in the museum's sacred hall, the crime scene itself. So, that's why you were hired as security for the treasure exhibit? I'm pretty sure he said that Adrian Andrews hired him. Yes, I borrowed some equipment from Lordly Taylor and set the perfect trap. You must mean the security camera. But I thought you were watching the area yourself too. So, how did Mask Damasque manage to steal the urn? That's the million dollar question. What is Damasque's modus operandi? Um, Mr. Atme, did you know about the sacred urn? I'm interested in only one thing, my dear, and that is Mask Damasque. Sacred urn? That has nothing to do with this case. But wasn't that what Mask Damasque stole this time? 
I am a hunter, sir. The urn was nothing more than a lure to catch my prey. Do you yourselves remember the shape of the individual peanuts you throw to pigeons? I don't think I like this guy's attitude, Nick. Well, anyway, it looks like he doesn't know about the urn. Oops, wrong one. Fast forward. Yeah, we already saw this. I want to do that one. Um, there's something that's kind of bothering me. Please, my dear, ask me anything you like. After all, we are all but seekers wandering alone in the dark. Well, I was wondering how Mask Damasuke managed to steal the urn. I mean, isn't it strange that you don't seem to know? Yeah, now that you mention it, it is strange. After all, you were on guard that night at the scene of the crime. Unless you were sound asleep, you should have at least seen Mask Damasuke. What the? It's a Psyche Lock. S Psyche Lock? Hey Nick, what is this Psyche Lock thing? Well, your Magatama lets me see when people are keeping secrets. By breaking their mental locks, I can find out what those secrets are. What? This Magatama has that kind of power? Maya, you're the one who gave me this Magatama last year. Well, it's true that this Magatama is a prized Fey family heirloom, but Pearly was the one that actually imbued it with spiritual powers, right? That's why I don't really know much about what it can do. This is the woman that's going to take over the Kyrian Channeling School someday? So how do you do it? How do you break the Psycholog thing? Well, you present the Magatama to the person with the secret. Cool, I can't wait to see it in action. Come on, try it out. Oh boy, I think the future master still needs to learn how to be patient. Present Megatama. Mask Damasque's MO. Detective at me, you were standing guard at the scene of the crime. There's no way you didn't see Mask Damasque commit the crime. Well no, I can hardly see why you're so positive about that. Yes indeed I was guarding the warehouse, that much is true. But I can tell you for certain that not a single person passed through that door. I'm not sure why, but this Atme guy is lying through his teeth. I know, I'll show him some proof. Detective Atme, I have here proof that someone went through that door last night. Camera! <laughs> there was a security camera set up at the scene of the crime. It should have automatically taken a photo of anyone that went through that door. Precisely. I hope you don't mind, but we've already gotten our hands on the camera data. As you can see, the camera went off exactly once last night. What? But my monocle didn't catch anyone in its flash. It must be some kind of computer malfunction. It, it, it must be. Maybe it was your monocle that malfunctioned. What? Are you saying that I didn't do my duty properly? Just give at me. You must have seen the thief last night. The question is, why are you trying to hide it? If he's hiding it, there must be some reason. Some reason that he desperately wants to keep hidden. And I've got just the piece of evidence that should prove it. Okay, let's suppose you didn't manage to see Mask Damasque. In that case, the reason you didn't at the time was because you were... Unconscious. I'm afraid that making a guess is not enough. Time to put your money where your mouth is. Show me your evidence. You were whacked with his sword, the Shichishido. Detective at me. You were knocked unconscious by the thief, weren't you? <laughs> Surely you must be joking. You think that I, Luke at me, could be knocked unconscious so easily? This sword proves it. That's... Before the theft, this sword was in the hand of the statue of Army Fay. Furthermore, at that time, it was not bent. Ah, uh, uh. There's only one explanation. You were struck on the head and knocked unconscious by this sword. Well, detective, how about it? I'm impressed. You truly are an ace attorney. They said the thing. Unlock successful. 
I can't deny that there may be a small hint of truth in what you say. So, you were knocked out when the thief first clobbered you? Clobber. It's an ugly way of saying it, but I suppose you could put it that way. The coward struck at the precise moment that I turned to look at the computer. So you never noticed that the thief had entered the warehouse? No, the coward must have wormed his way in through somewhere besides the door. Perhaps the air ducts or the sewer pipes. Then my arch nemesis struck me on the head from behind with this gruesome item here. Ouch, Mr. Atme should have his poor head examined. You can say that again. How could he have underestimated the thief that badly? Sheet she sheet updated in the court record. Well, it looks like we got one thing cleared up anyway. Huh? What? That Atme is the greatest ace detective in the world? No, that he never actually saw the thief. Oh, that's right. So the thief may not even be Masked Damasque. Just one moment, Sir Lawyer. The thief was unquestionably Masked Damasque. But you never actually saw him. Perhaps so, but I installed a security camera for just such a contingency. Oh. Last night, the camera went off exactly once. Behold, this is a photo of the dastardly thief taken by the security camera. That's him! M Mask de Masque! Security camera photo added to the court record. The thief can be none other than the arch criminal Mask de Masque. After all, he has a very good reason for committing such brazen crimes. W what are you talking about? His reason? So, what did you mean by he had a very good reason? Exactly that. Mr. Delight had a very good reason to dress up and commit those crimes. There should be a green envelope somewhere in his room. You'll need to go and investigate. But, but how would you know about that? Hmm. Have you forgotten? You're speaking to the finest ace detective ever to walk the face of the earth. The most brilliant mind since, well, ever, Luke at me. <sighs> well, I guess we better go take a look, just in case. Actually, I forgot about the green envelope part. Uh, Damascus hideout. Bum, bum, butter, there's a green envelope. Hey Nick, remember what Detective Atme said? This flashback that we just saw like a second ago. Yeah. A green envelope, huh? Looks like this is it. Okay, let's have a look. If you don't want your true identity revealed to the world, come to KB Security at 1am on October 12th and bring $50,000. 50,000? This is a b b blackmail letter. It sure looks like a major clue, all right. Blackmail letter added to the court record. Ding dong. Oh, someone's at the door. Oh, I'll be right back. Won't take but a second, I promise. Oh, thank you for coming. That's so nice of you. Whose voice is that? I don't remember who that is. Oh, all right, I think I know. When I see a damsel in distress, I just can't help myself. Please, come on in. I'll make some coffee. Really? Okay. I guess I'll make myself at home, pretty lady. Wait a minute. I know that voice. Oh, Nikki boy, I'm so sorry, but I've got another guest. Ah! You... you're... Nick, it's you! And Maya, too! What a fluke! Ah, Larry! Long time no see. What? You know each other? N Nicky boy? Nick, do you and this girl have, you know, something going on? S something? If you mean what I think- I underestimated you, Nick. A gorgeous lady like this? And married too? Way to go, dude. I knew it. Just when things can't get any worse, it's time to cue in the butts. Larry Butts. Ever since grade school, he's been... Not exactly a close friend, but yeah, we know each other. Hey man, that wasn't nice. That was your very first client. We've got quite the storied history, he and I. And what we used to say still rings true. When something smells, it's usually the butts. Hey, come on now, you're embarrassing me. In front of this pretty little thing here. So you two are old childhood friends, I see. That's so sweet. You two go ahead and catch up on old times. I'm gonna go check on my bike. Nice girl, that Desi. So how have you been, Nick? Too busy if you really want to know. 
Okay, we do need to talk to Larry. We can get some clues here. So, what have you been up to this whole time? It's been two years since I heard from you. And what's with those clothes? You look, well, weird. Hey man, it's uncalled for. This is my uniform from my part-time job. But I can't believe it's been two years. They say if time flies when you're having fun. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Huh? What's wrong? Nick, I gotta tell you. Women, I don't trust them anymore. You got dumped again? Well, you know Benefer? I followed her all the way to Japan two years ago. That's when I met the famous Caddy Tom and my whole life changed. Benefer? Caddy Tom? I never heard of either of them. Anyway, dude, Caddy Tom chose Hollywood over me, can you believe it? Well, actually... Anyway, sounds like you had quite the adventure. Women. They're so... so... Ah! Oh, but, but you're different, Maya. You're not like the rest. Looks like he's still the same old Larry. Gross. Larry's gross. So what are you doing here anyway? Huh? What do you mean by that? I'm just a natural born nice guy, that's all. Ooh. Well, actually, I picked this up last night while I was working. A wallet? You say you found this last night? Yeah, it had a driver's license in it, so I figured I'd just return it myself. Ron's wallet added to the court record. Hang on, let me say that for a minute. I knew it. Desi's picture is in here. Yeah, I guess he really digs his wife, huh? Hey Nick, it's not what you're thinking at all. No, I'm pretty sure it is. You haven't changed a bit. Oh, no way, man. I mean, she's a married woman. That's just bad news. He really is here to check out Mr. Light. So you said you found it at your job, right? Yeah, I'm working for a private security company as a guard. Chicks just love a guy in uniform, you know? A security guard, huh? So that's what that uniform is all about. So what time was it when you found this last night? Huh? Why are you asking that? Trying to see if I've got an alibi? Um, you're not the one on the hook for a crime this time, buddy. I guess it was around 1 in the morning on the first floor of our company building. What's Mr. Delight's wallet doing there? Anyway, there's nothing weird about that. After all, he works there. He works there? You mean Mr. Delight? Sure. Here, take a look at this. It's right here in his wallet. There in his wallet, sorry. What's this card? It's a key card for the security company. See? It's got a serial number on it right there. There's no mistake about it. You said you were working part-time at a security company, right? That's right. Why are you making that scary face? Security company, huh? Something's not quite secure about Larry working there. I need to find out as much as I can about this keycard. Keycard added to the court record. I think I just need to present the card to him. So you're sure about this keycard? Yup, that's the keycard we use at the building I work in. According to the serial number, this one is for the CEO's office. You needed to get into that room, and every time you use that card, it leaves a record. It leaves a record? Yeah, it tells you exactly who entered the room and when. Larry, I need that data. Whoa, slow down, man. Sorry, but that data is off limits to outsiders. If I lost this job, I'd never have a chance with Desi. <sighs> it's times like these when I wish lawyers weren't so powerless. Keycard updated in the court record. I think that's all we need from Larry. Maybe talk about the wallet as well. You didn't touch anything in the wallet, did you? Hey man, be serious. You know what I was interested in. Gross. If Master Masuka doesn't look out, he's gonna be the one victim of a robbery himself. Okay, I think that's all we needed to get here from Larry. I think. Maybe we need to blackmail him? Let's just show him the letter. Hey Larry, what about this? What? If you've got something to say, then say it already. Huh? A blackmail letter? Do you know anything about this? What? I don't know anything about Alexis, and that's the truth! Huh? What? I, I can't believe you do this to me, I thought you were my friend! Fifty thousand dollars? I don't have that kind of money! No, no, you don't understand. This blackmail letter was sent to Ron Delight. Whew. Man, you scared me. I almost had a heart attack, you idiot. Wait, I'm the idiot? Not a fan of that word. 
Man, I was terribly confused because it says KB Security right on the envelope. Um, yeah, so what? That's where I've got a part-time job, at KB Security. W what? Sounds like I should really find out more about this KB Security company. KB Security, the company in the blackmail letter. You know about- you know about it? That's where I work, yeah. In fact, I'm on the job right now. Huh? So, what are you doing here then? Well, the boss is away right now. You know what mice do when the cat's away. Yes, yes. <sighs> anyway, how far away is this company? Let me see, about 30 minutes by car, I guess? Well, if you fly down the road, anyway. Hmm. Well, this apartment building's pretty close to Lordly Taylor, right? And it would take roughly an hour to go from here to KB Security and back. If Rondelite was at KB Security when the robbery occurred, then... Whoa! Then he couldn't have stolen the sacred urn. Hey Nick, your phone! Beep! Uh, hello? Is this the right residence? Ah, oh, Pearls, where are you? I, I thought I'd go to Lordly Taylor to try to find some more clues, but... I'm afraid I've gotten lost. What? Give me that phone, Nick. But Pearly, where are you right now? Um, I was walking along and I found myself in front of that person's office. That person? Who? Um, that person who doesn't act his age and always says Zavari when he's excited. Luke at me, ace detective. Okay, stay right there, we're coming to get you. Uh, Alright, uh, I'm a little scared. Beep! Alright, let's go, Maya. Wait a second, Nick. W what? That phone called us now. Sound like real cutie. Oh my god. Another one of your, ahem, <clears throat> special friends? Say goodbye to Ms. Delight for me, would you, Larry? Gross. Gross. October 12th, at me detective agency. Ah, Mr. Nick, Mystic Meyer, Pearly. Oh, I never thought I'd see the two of you again. Oh, sweetie. You all right? So is Mr. Ace Detective out of the office? Yes, when I arrived here, there wasn't a single soul in sight. Say, Nick, doesn't it look like something's changed since you were here last? Now that you mention it. This bag, I'm sure it wasn't here before. It looks quite full, I wonder what could be in here. Uh, by the way, we're nearly at the end of this segment. Sorry for going so long, but we're nearly done. <laughs> hey Nick, come on, open it up. Hey, wait a minute, we can't just open his private property. Don't be such a fuddy-duddy, this is an important investigation. That's true, and truth be told, I have to admit I am kind of curious. Well, what's in there? H hang on a sec, I'm taking it out now. Whatever it is, it feels kind of hard and smooth? Well, hello there. Eek! He's here! What are you doing, sir, lawyer? I'm shocked to see a servant of the court ignoring the law so flagrantly. I'm really sorry. M M Maya made me do it. Nick, I can't believe you. A gentleman never uses a lady as an excuse for his own poor behaviour. The real question is, can you afford to waste time lollygagging about here? W what do you mean by that? Perhaps I should make myself more clear? Tomorrow's trial. Zavari. Shall we say, the figurative. Sir William will be dropping his panties before lunchtime? I don't know what that means. Wow, Nick, sounds like it's going to be really exciting. Tomorrow's trial. Um, what's going to happen at the trial tomorrow that's so dramatic? Do you know what your biggest mistake so far has been, Sir Lawyer? It was becoming a lawyer in the first place. <laughs> that certainly does sound like a big mistake, Mr. Nick. Tomorrow will be a day to remember. I, Luke Atme, will take the stand. And then, Zvari, my testimony will prove to be the undoing of a lot of you. Yes, all of you, I will unmask you as the thief's co-conspirators. Conspirators? <laughs> You're quick on the defensive, I see. However, it is not I that is your greatest enemy. 
there is a far more dangerous threat that you will face during the trial. W what are you talking about? Sir Lawyer, if you truly are who you say, I'm sure you've heard of him. His name is Godo. G Godo? Yes, it is a reference to the, the play Waiting for Godo. That's why he has that name. Uh, well, you'll see more of that in a bit when we talk about this more. You've taken a step down the path of foolishness. To try to defend a career criminal who deserves nothing less than the death penalty. Hey, last time I checked, no one knows for sure that Mr. Delight really is Master Masque. Is Demasque. <laughs> My dear lady. Times may change, but people, sadly, do not. Well, you'll understand this when you're more mature. Gotto. Um, who is this Gotto person? It's not surprising that a spirit medium has not heard the name. Gotto, the prosecutor whose equal cannot be found in this country, but in heaven. Gotto, a legend or myth. Men pin a lifetime of hopes on the chance to simply meet him. Prosecutor Gotto. But the best prosecutor in the country isn't Gotto, it's Mr. Edgeworth. Isn't that right, Nick? It's no surprise that a spirit medium such as yourself would know nothing of this. But ace prosecutor Miles Edgeworth is currently travelling abroad. Huh. In fact, it was Mr. Edgeworth who acknowledged Gotto as the best in this country. And you agree with that? Most certainly. In fact, you can call him the Luke at me of the prosecutor's office. Well, that's good to hear. The prosecution has a fighting chance tomorrow. Mr. Nick, is this Gotto really that strong? He's pretty good. Hmm, I seem, to remember, I seem to remember hearing about someone like that. Not surprising. Some people spend their entire lives idly waiting for his appearance. Uh, uh, uh. See? See what they did there? <laughs> Looks like we're done investigating for the day. Hee 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 hee. Sir Lawyer. The stage has been set, and all the pieces are finally in place. All that remains now is for the dance to begin. A new prosecutor, an ace detective, and a thief. This will be one tough trial. To be continued. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching for an hour and a half. Oh my goodness. Uh, next time we start the trial. It'll probably be a bit shorter than this video because the trial's cut into pieces, usually. I don't know, maybe it's still long. Part 2 trial. Hmm. We'll see, we'll see. It might still be really, really long. Or it might be shorter. But we're not going to do it right now because it's late at night. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye! <laughs>